Welcome to this movie on high-resolution esophageal manometry. We will show you how easy the examination is with the Solar GI HRM system of MMS. This patient has been referred to a gastroenterologist. He will undergo an HRM examination. The examination is performed in order to diagnose an esophageal motility disorder. The following equipment is required for the examination. The solar HRM system and a solid state catheter. We will now explain this procedure. Put the catheter in water to pre-wet. Connect the catheter to the system. Start the MMS software program to enter the patient demographic information. Select the investigation protocol and start the examination. Zero the channels of the catheter. You are now ready to welcome the patient. You can apply some lubricating gel to ease the passage of the catheter. Gently insert the catheter into the pharynx. Instruct the patient to bring his head forward to swallow the catheter. Let the patient take small sips of water. This will ease the process. Position the catheter. Verify the landmarks of the upper and lower sphincter on the screen. Ask the patient to take a deep breath to control the position of the catheter. During inhaling, the pressures below the diaphragm will increase. At the same time, the pressures above the diaphragm will decrease. When the catheter is in position, fix it to the nose. Start the examination. Enter the insertion depth of the catheter. Instruct the patient to swallow 5 milliliters of water. Repeat this at least 10 times. Wait 30 seconds between the swallows. Please note that you can easily mark the swallows with the remote control. Finally, measure the resting pressure for 20 seconds. Finish the examination. Remove the catheter. The patient can leave. Clean and disinfect multi-use catheters. To summarize, with HRM, you can simplify and shorten the esophageal manometry examination. Thanks to MMS, the HRM examination is really simple.